Hey everyone, in one of the earlier videos where I talked about my filming equipment, someone asked if this tripod that is set up beside me, whether it would get in the way of me filming my tutorial or my videos. And it does get in the way sometimes. For example, right now I have set up the tripod just right beside. I find that it's more comfortable for me to rest my hand my left hand on the table so my hand would have to go around the tripod to hold a sketchbook or to hold a sketching pad or sometimes I need the hand to move things into the screen or out of the screen so my hand would um, be here and sometimes I may accidentally hit the tripod and when I do hit the tripod the video footage will be shaky and I have to redo that take so it's a bit awkward to have this uh, tripod right here. Depending on what I'm filming, sometimes I may set the tripod to be taller or shorter. So uh, when it's taller, I can zoom in to focus on my drawing. When it's shorter, I can really uh, zoom in to give you guys a very close up macro uh, look. Um, right now, I have set up the tripod a bit taller, so I have a bit more space beneath the legs, so my hands can actually go through. And this is a bit more comfortable, but still, it's a bit awkward because I need to remember that there is a tripod here. I need to remember not to knock it, not to shake it. So in that video, someone recommended me to get a horizontal tripod arm. I have been searching online for horizontal tripod arms, um, cheap and affordable ones for a very long time. And most of the tripod arms that I find online, they are very expensive. They are usually more than US $100. But recently, I found one that is really cheap. It is less than US $30 and it has just arrived. So I'm going to unbox that today and uh, set it up and let you guys um, know whether if it's worth the money. So this is the tripod arm that I have just unwrapped. This is really solid. This pole here, this arm here, this is really thick. The diameter, it's it's even thicker compared to my tripod legs. The whole thing is really very sturdy. And the price for that is less than 30 Singapore dollars. So that is less than US $25. And that includes free shipping here to Singapore from China Post. So this tripod, this is from China. The build quality, it's really quite good. That sound that you hear, that's from this um, thing here which is used to screw onto the tripod. So there are two um, knobs here that you can loosen to move the arm, to lengthen the arm if you need be. And you can tighten it down like this. There are two screw threads on both ends, one here and one here. The measurement here is three over eight of an inch this is larger compared to typical camera tripod mounts, which is around a quarter inch. So this tripod mount here below the camera, this is a bit too small for me to screw onto that arm. I would need some sort of adapter. And this part here that is supposed to be fixed onto the tripod, this thread here is a bit too big as well. I need some sort of converter. This is the tripod stand that I'm using the vertical stand and the thread here, this is too small. I need some sort of converter here as well. The bad news is this horizontal tripod arm, it doesn't come with any of those converters. The good news is those converters, they are not very expensive. Before I attach the horizontal arm onto this tripod, I'm going to attach this ball head so let me just attach this. Now this ball head will allow me to adjust the horizontal arm in different angles. But this ball head, it uses um, this plate here. And this, this is where I will fix this small to big adapter. With this fixed up, I can attach to the tripod arm. And I'm going to screw this tight. So if you want the flexibility to move the arm in different angles, this uh, is an essential equipment, but 
This is not cheap, it's quite expensive actually. I've been using this for a few years. So if you do not have this, you may have to um, spend extra money to get one if you want that flexibility. So now I can fix the tripod arm onto the ball head very easily. And if I want to, I can release the tripod arm very easily as well. On this end here, I'm going to fix another ball head as well. So I'm going to use this. I'm using this here so that I can connect another ball head onto the tripod arm. And now with this setup, I can put my camera onto the arm. It's a bit too heavy. The reason why it's too heavy is because there is actually a weight limit to the ball head. So this ball head is bigger compared to this one. I need to swap them around. All right, I have just swapped the ball head, the stronger ball head, the bigger one is right here. And now let's see if this will still uh, swing down. All right, so now this is fixed in place. It doesn't move anymore. This is strong enough to hold the arm and the camera together. With the horizontal arm setup, I now have more space here. I can move my arms very easily around, very freely around. I don't have to worry about knocking into the tripod because the tripod is now further away, standing on the side here. And I can record my drawing process with the camera at the top pointing straight down so there is no more camera distortion, no more um, weird angles. So this is a pretty uh, nice setup. This setup is a bit more complicated than I expected though before I made this video because I did not expect to fix the ball head onto the tripod here and also here. If you do not have the ball head then you will not be able to move the arm at different angles. So for example, if you want to do this, if you want to convert this, um, this tripod here into a normal uh, recording rig with uh, the camera pointing in front of you, you can do so now because of this ball head and this ball head. But the thing with the ball head is they are quite expensive. In fact, I think these two ball heads, um, each one of them, they cost more than the horizontal arm itself. Um, that's because this particular arm is quite, um, quite cheap actually. One thing I like about the ball head is you can very quickly release the camera like this. You can very quickly release the arm like this and if you want to set up the camera onto the tripod, you can do so if the ball head is using the same plate as your other uh, ball heads. The total cost of this setup is unknown because I cannot remember the price of this tripod, the ball head and this ball head. The only thing I can remember is um, they are quite expensive. So for this whole setup, the tripod arm is actually the cheapest part right now. Now you do not need to use such expensive equipment. In fact, um, going forward, I may not be using this setup as often because um, it involves setting this up involves time. I have to fix the angle, I have to adjust uh, the position of this arm, I have to fix the angle of this as well. So I still prefer to have the camera on the tripod without this um, whole setup. Even though it is a bit awkward to have the tripod on the side close to you, um, it's just a much easier setup for me. So um, it's a compromise. So if you need a horizontal arm that is well built and affordable, this is a good one that I can recommend. By the way, there is no brand for this arm. This arm is sold on AliExpress. If you want to get it, you can visit the link in the video description below. I am not affiliated to the website, so I do not earn anything from this um, video. I just want to make this video to share with you guys um, this affordable arm um, that is out there. So that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.